Hello everyone, my name is Peter Tedros. I'm a senior Power Apps developer. In today's video, I'll show you how to add a photo or an image into a multiple line of text column as an HTML. And also I'm going to show you how to edit the multiple line of text column, plain text in Power BI to display as normal text. And we're going to also go through a scenario where I faced as in after we have a lot of data already stored in a uh, multiple line of text column in SharePoint as enhanced rich text, we wanted to transfer all of this data without losing that uh, CSS or HTML formatting into multiple line of text plain text. Uh, so if you would go here and just select a plain text and you think that would do it, but that will not transfer over all the HTML or CSS formatting that we had. So we just converted into plain text and we lost all the data that the user entered. We had a lot of entries. And so we had to transfer them into, um, you know, a couple of steps before we complete that. I'll show you today. So first things first, going back to adding an image into a multiple line of text column. So before we jump into this, we know that in multiple line of text, you can easily add a picture or an image uh, also uh, from Power Apps or uh, it, it needs some work around, but you can add it from Power Apps in the rich text editor or in SharePoint, you could also add it as in here. Uh, so if I go here and if I want to add an image, I can add it if I click here, it will give me an option here. So insert an image. Uh, also, you can do this from Power Apps, but it needs some work. I just need the link for it. Uh, in this scenario, the requirements was not to have it stored into SharePoint, not to have it stored into attachment. They just wanted to drag and drop the photo into a rich text editor and just add some description. And that's, that's it. Because out of that, we generate a PDF HTML page, and then we convert it into PDF. So you wanted to have everything into that PDF. There's many ways to do it, but this was the requirement. Just drag and drop, submit, and that's it. So I was able to do this into not the multiple line, not the enhanced rich text, but the plain text. And I'll show you why. So there is a couple of options if you're going to, let's jump into the list setting. So there's a couple of options for the multiple line of text uh, column. Let's open this one, the enhanced rich multiple line of text. And so this one happened to be the enhanced rich text, uh, text with pictures, table, and hyperlinks. And there is the option of plain text. And that's the one that we're going to be working with, the plain text. But this is the one we've been using, and it has all the data on it but it does not accept images or photos as drag and drop. It's got to be a link. Uh, but that's, again, that wasn't one of the options we have. So in order to do this, we created a new column, which is uh, text, um, you know, it just happened to go text multiple lines, and it's a multiple line of text, but as plain text. And so this column actually did what was needed. Uh, and as you can see here, it's plain text. So going back over into Power Apps. This is a gallery here, and this is a form. And so I am showing here two labels, one just plain text label and one HTML label for this item. So this is item number one, item number two, and three, and so on. So in that label here, this is showing one column only. It's the text multiple lines. Uh, and in the form, I am my entry as the rich text editor. So if I select this item, it's shown here. If I select number two, it's shown here. So the thing about the multiple line of text, plain text, if you're showing in HTML, it will show nice in HTML. But if you're showing in plain text, it will show the actual HTML label behind it, which that's not what the user wants. The user wants just to see the clean HTML. Uh, and that's okay. So we're going to be showing in Power Apps in HTML and no problem with that. Uh, the only problem that I found was in Power BI reports. Uh, so in Power BI, we have this column can be converted to plain text from 
plain text because it's already in plain text, right? So it can be converted unlike the, the other column that when we have enhanced rich, uh, rich text and just right click on the column and uh, convert it, you know, from the HTML as text uh, and then just get the, the value. But in this case, we couldn't. So I'll show you how to do this later. But for now, let's just submit a photo and see if it takes it. So just a screenshot, drag and drop like it did. And I'm going to submit. And so here you go in the gallery, the HTML label is showing uh, whatever was here, text here, and then the screenshot that I added. And if I go back to the actual plain text label, you can see here the HTML formatting. And where is, there you go. So that is the base 64 for the image. So the image starts from here, oops, starts from here, base 64 and Here's the source and then the data, the URL and base64 and it starts from here, the image. So all the way down to, it'll be a long, there you go. So all the way down to here and then it's closed. And so we've got the image stored into base64 displaying an HTML label and power apps. Sweet, no problems, no attachment, nothing. That's really cool. And that's basically it, you know, so I've printed PDF using the uh, Microsoft OneDrive uh, HTML to PDF converter and it works sweet. So there was no troubles. And uh, the other part of this video is the Power BI. So let me show you. So Power BI reports uh, right here. I have the table, uh, I have the SharePoint list, journal list. And if I throw a table in here and get the ID, and text, multiple line of text will have all these things that we added. So you can see there's five, five items, one, two, three, four, five. And we worked on the first and the second one. So we've added uh, a photo and that was whatever we had here, uh, text and more text. So we don't want to show this in Power BI reports. And if I jump into the edit query and we will add a custom so here is how you can see you know it's showing this is the column text multiple lines uh it's plain text i and it can't uh convert it into uh, again plain text because it's already in plain text so what we're going to do is we're going to add a custom column um let's go through that so custom column will add html table and just add the column name that we wanted to transfer, so six multiple lines, and uh, then just uh, let's add the column name. I'm just gonna call it the same thing, and oops, I did not put this. There you go. And it's going to be the root close. Close. There you go. All right, so we had it right here. Now does it come with errors, and these errors are for the empty values. So these three and four and five items do not have values, and it's easy. Just right click on the column and replace errors, and replace it with no value. So okay, and problem solved. Uh, we will go ahead and expand it. So if you click on these the two arrows here, expand it, I'll check use original column. And there you go. So we have plain text. So what I did, it removed the base 64 for the image and just kept the plain text, remove all the HTML formatting and just kept that. So here's the text we have. And it makes sense because we don't want the photos or any of this in the Power BI reports. We just want the text. Uh, and so there you have it. I will go ahead and remove that column. I don't need this anymore, the older one. And I can just rename this uh, into uh, the newer one I had. So if I want, I mean, to the older one, I'm sorry. So it should just be the same and it will go in all the filters that you had, all the locations. So that will be it. So if I'm just going to close and apply, And give it a second. 
there you have it. So I didn't even change the column. It just replaced it. And I have these values here. So sweet. The other part of the video is how to transfer enhanced rich text into plain text without losing the HTML or CSS formatting styling into, into the column. Uh, so in order to do this, there's a bunch of ways you can do this. Um, one of the ways is I created a temporary column. So for example, if this was the old one that we had the data on and we wanted to move it into the new one, uh, you can just create another column in the same list in, as plain text. And we'll go ahead and let's do this actually. So I added these columns here, these columns here. So I'm going to add it as a collection. So I'm going to collect the column, the enhanced rich text column that we have and the ID, just these two into a collection. So clear collect, just temporary data collection and just gonna show the columns. This is a SharePoint list, general list. And the two columns that I want is ID and enhanced. So if I go ahead and collect this, let's see what we have. All right, so we have three items for this column that they have formatting. Uh, if Again, if I go ahead and uh, transfer this column or transform this column into plain text right now, I'm going to lose all of that. So don't do this. You have to do the conversion first before you go here and you make it plain text. So if I do this, I'm going to lose everything. So just keep it as enhanced rich text for now and empower apps. I added them as collection. And on the second bottom, I just saved for all uh, the collection that we collected and then uh, patch the general list, ID to ID. And we're going to patch the new column, the plain text column, text multiple lines of text. And we're going to patch the data of the old column. So if I click in here, noticed it took the enhanced rich text that we had and it moved it into the plain text, which is awesome. So I go back to the old column and I'm just gonna convert it into plain text and click OK. I don't need the data anymore because it's in temporary location into that column, text multiple lines of text, which is plain. And I'm going back to Power Apps and I'm just gonna reverse really. So we'll take the data from the plain text column that we have, the text multiple lines, and we're going to patch into the older column that became now plain text as well. So I will go back here and I will change this a little bit. So clear collect uh, this collection. And I'm going to show the ID because I need the ID. And I'm going to show the multiple line of text. Uh, I'm too lazy to type at this point. All right. I guess I have it somewhere here. All right, there you go. So I'm going to clear collect this. And I have my data. I'm going to go ahead here and patch it. So I'm going to patch the older column in and get from the collection the other one that we got, which was text multiple lines. And if I patch, I should have the new data into the enhanced traits, rich text. So copy. I'm going to go to the gallery and change this, uh, this item dot. So I'm going to remove this temporary column add hours and I'm going to go into the label as well and awesome so it actually carried over the data that we needed so I'm going to go to the form and do the same thing the data field I'm just going to replace the column default all right so sweet so we have all the data that we had before and did not lose it still in the html format if I want to now go ahead and add photos, let's try that. Sweet, there you go. 
So that was our old column that did not accept photos before because it was enhanced rich text on the links. But right now it accepts us as base 64. And very cool. Everyone is happy. All right, so that was it for this video today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.